Hey guys, I, hi guys, I am doing another alcohol ink art, and uh, let's see how this abstract turns out. Okay. Um, this is a canvas now. The one I did yesterday was on a board, and usually the board you have to be careful because the wood shows right through. Uh, sometimes, no matter how many times, I primed it three times and it's still... The wood seemed to be showing through a little bit. So I didn't like that yesterday. But uh, anyway. Here we go. We're going to do a little bit of alcohol there. And a little bit of alcohol in this corner. I don't want to put too much alcohol. Like yesterday I put too much alcohol. It was all over the whole place here. So we want to try not to avoid that. Okay. That's a purple there down. I wanna... This time I'm using my, uh, this is my compressor. Makes it so much better to do the alcohol ink. It spreads, it spreads a lot better for me with, I have more control over it to me with this I like to go like in a circular motion. Yeah, kind of the way I like to do it. Circular motion. And uh, let's see. And you could throw a blending solution on it to kind of make it blend a little better. Yeah, that helps it blend and helps you spread it out more. Especially like here in the corner, I want it to really cover that corner good. So, and like I said, I don't want to put too much of the blending solution or the alcohol because I don't want it to get all stuck in the middle, you know, like yesterday. It got kind of all stuck in the middle. We don't want that. Alright, and I'm going to put some more here. And this is going to be a blue color. That's like a turquoise blue. Oops. Don't want my, my alcohol painting stuff to get full of the spreading of this alcohol. Okay. And I'm going to stop because I want to put the little tops on these that makes this kind of come out less. So that way you see these little tops. You snap it in there and turn it. And it makes the, uh, the, uh, the paint, the alcohol ink come out less. So that way you don't have so much on your canvas. Let's see if this one worked. Yeah, you see? You just pour very little, so you don't go over the the amount that you want on your canvas. That's better. It's a better way to control your paint. Um, put this one on this one. Yeah, you see? That way you squeeze it out. It's just a little at a time. Uh -huh. This is the retarder solution. You could just pour it on or you could put it after to make sure everything blends very nicely together. And there we go. It will blend together. So that, that way you don't have the colors together all at once. You have them all. I have to load this down because I don't like the way it's splashing everywhere. You see how it's splashing everywhere? It's making a lot of 
splashy everywhere. We don't want splashy everywhere. Yeah. We want it to smooth out, not look like a mess. Alright, so turn that off. I'll put a little bit of black. Because I want to put a little black in the middle. Let's see if I get yeah, a little black is good. It comes out like a nice grayish color. Blending solution in it. So just blend it. Yeah, I like the way it blends. You know, the, the color black becomes like a grayish instead of black black, you know? Let's put a little top on this one too because I really don't want it flying all over the place. Like I said, I want to have more control of this dispel of this, you know. That's the this is the retarder retarding solution, you see. This is by Kelty. It's a very nice company. I like it. From Dublin. Through, uh, Ireland. Uh, I'm really not liking how the metal is coming out. You know, I'm going to put a little blending solution in it. To kind of blend it out a little bit more. I like the way it's just kind of staying stuck. I don't like when the paint stays stuck. <laughs> uh -huh. It makes for an awful painting when the paint gets stuck. Uh, I want to be able to get it all blended out. Are you guys liking these colors so far? I think I'm liking them a lot. But like I said, we need to get it all blending the right way. Blending beautifully, not awfully. So pretty. I like this. The way the uh, I was the alcohol that made it all pretty like that. So that's good. And I ran out of the white. I don't have no white. I love the white, you know, to mix the white with some of this really makes it beautiful. Don't, don't get crazy, machine. My little machine. Let's, let's take it one step at a time here. Let's just relax here. Uh -huh. oh, circular motion works for me. Let's put some more of this one here. Let's see. Put some more on the edges here. Spread it out a little bit more. Yeah. A little bit more alcohol in that area. Oh.
blue is really blended in there. But I need a darker blue, so I'm going to look for a darker blue. Because that is like you can see right through it. I want to get a darker blue. Let me see if this black is a little bit. Yeah, this black needs to just stay on there. Not move it around too much. And uh, the dark, that pink, is more like a pink. I gotta get it darker because it's uh, make it too light. It's beautiful. Okay. Now this blue, I'm gonna make it a little darker. Nice. No, not this color blue. I want it to be a dark blue. The dark blue would be better to go in between these colors. Yeah. This is calling for blue here. Don't worry too much about the outside there because that we could always paint it later on with a little bit more white. Put a little blending solution there. I don't know what this pink is doing here. It's like, I don't know if it wants to be part of the party here. It just wants to be off the, the chart, maybe. <laughs> it's not doing much for me. It really isn't. Let me see. If I add a little yellow, maybe, to it, or maybe a green. There's some yellow on the side here. This is a nice color. to do something which is going to help my painting here push it along the way because uh, sometimes you got to do this see this is what I do at times guys I punch it in and get a nice color in between forget about that yellow okay just dump it a little bit in yeah. Oh, this is called a pouncer. I use it for paintings. That's why I have it out here. Uh -huh. See the areas that are very dark, if you want to highlight them, you hit them with these pouncers and it just gets rid of all that dark color. And you could just do the side too while you're at it. Why not? Make the side that color. <sighs> so that way when you do the uh, when you do the uh, final coat of the resin it you know come out beautiful. Okay now this pouncer I'm gonna use it for this one. Because 
that pink was not doing anything for me. I don't know what's going on with that magenta. It's just sitting there, not doing much. And over here in the middle, I don't know, this black, not doing much for me either. But uh, it's okay. See what we do about it? It's cute, right? <laughs> you gotta make something out of your painting, guys. Doesn't matter what you gotta grab around your house. You find something, anything that has to do with art, you just use it. Use it to the best of your ability. That's what I say. I taught my nieces how to use these pouncers when they do, like, stuff for school during Christmas time. They make a nice Christmas tree with these little pouncers. They come in all different sizes. Very small, they come very big, very round. This middle I don't like, I have to change that middle. Um, maybe if I make it like a nice green. Let's see, no, not this green. Maybe, yeah, might as well leave it. That's a nice green. Made it pretty. Let me get another little pencil. I got a whole bag of them. A whole bag. My nieces, they come over and they use them, so I'm almost out of them. Looks like I gotta buy some more. And I like it makes a little circle, you know. A little circle type of. Uh, yeah, shape. There you go. Nice, nice and shapey circle. Uh -huh. And if you want to do some design with the alcohol, you can make little, you know, with the alcohol. You can do that with the alcohol if you want to make little dots everywhere. That's the way. You could just take out go on just spray spray it on it. And uh once you spray the alcohol on it, it makes all the dots you want it to make. So you got small dots, you got big dots. But yeah, the alcohol helps a lot in your painting. So that's it. I'm happy with that guys. I'm gonna give you a close up and that will be it for today for my alcohol ink art. Oh, I said I was going to put a little glitter. Can't leave the glitter out. This is the Chunky Seahawk by Just For, Just for You from the UK. I'm going to put a little in the middle here because this is the green, green blue. And then I'm going to put a little tiny bit of the iridescent because I do like the iridescent a lot. iridescent there, yeah. Uh -huh. That is lovely. Lovely. I still don't like this color here. It's driving me nuts. Let me see if I could do something about that pink. Maybe if I turn it into a dark, like a red. A dark pink. Let me see. This is a dark pink. Let's see if it works. Oh, I think this is a dark pink. It looks like a dark pink. Yeah, that pink, that old pink was not doing it for me. So, I'll do it with this one and make it better. Oh, well, that's, that's made it better. I like it better this way. With this dark pink. See? It's a nice darker pink. I like it better. Much, much better. I like it. Like it, like it, like it. Yep. So you can make your designs however you want. Uh -huh. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Now this color is starting to get on my nerve too. This one, I don't like it. Let me... I gotta change that green. Uh... Let's see how this 
green will turn it into a little mix of green and yellow. Make it flow better. Yeah. See if I had gold. I mean, if I have white, the white really works with this so good. I hope they get white, the company. It'd be nice if they got some white. That was just a blending solution I just threw over it. In case you wanted to know, guys. See, I'm not making it every which way. I'm just making it whatever shape it comes out, that's what it's going to stay. You know, as long as the paint, the canvas is not showing through, that's it. I'll put some gold in it. You could put some gold in it. Make it nice and even shinier. Yeah. Let's put some gold in this. Yeah. Put some gold. You guys like gold? Here goes some gold. Let's see if I can get this gold on. Oh, look at that. Like a Christmas gold. It's Christmas, guys. Look at that. The, the middle got the gold. The rest of us getting nothing. Yeah, that's it. The middle get the gold. Yeah. The middle needs to... The middle needs to shine. So... The middle needs to party. To get in the, get in the program. <laughs> oh my lord. What have I done? Guys, what have I done? That w that blue one looks so pretty, but the metal, oh, it came out awful. Just got off of that, uh, that metal. Let me hit it up a little bit more. Yeah, it's not going to do anything at this point. It's kind of drying up. So it's not going to do much movement in the metal. You know? So let's get this uh, green. This is more like a turquoise green. This is a beautiful color. Ah, look at that. That whole thing just fell off. <laughs> Always happens. The bottom, that bottom part falls off. Yeah, I think this is a much better color. I like the way it blends in. It blends in very well, this color. So, that is it for that. Just uh, give it a little pounce with the little pouncer. And that's it. A nice design. And, uh, and we're done. Call it a day. Well, at least this one got a little gold going on. A little gold around the edges. That's good. So much blue on this side, let some the green go out on this side too. Why not? I think I just messed it up with that green on the outside. I should have left it alone. Angie, why well, you gotta mess up things? Just leave it alone, huh? I'm messing things up. <laughs> Alright, guys. Angie's gonna stop messing things up here. That is it, guys. All right, I'm going to give you a close-up and call it a day. After I do this corner here, I just want to do the side of the canvas so I don't have to do any painting on the side. The side can stay nice in this color to match the top of the canvas once I put the resin all along. All right, that's it, guys. Let me show you a close-up. That is my paint. Look at that. How beautiful is that? Uh -huh. I like it. Look at that. With all the gold glitter in there. Makes it look like a present. Yeah, it's a nice present, guys. What do you think? I think it's a nice present. Alright. Love you guys. Have a great week. Bye.